Hello, and welcome to the Twist and Burn 20 minute workout. If you're watching this video, it means you've already ordered the Twist and Shape system and are committed to getting into great physical shape. Trust me, if you commit to using Twist and Shape for 20 minutes a day, four days a week, and to following the eating guide, you will begin to see results very soon. If you watched the infomercial, you saw the results of the 60 day challenge. These everyday people transform their bodies by following the program and it paid off for them. Well, now it's your turn. And as you'll soon find out, Twist and Shape is a fun, energizing workout that anyone can do. So sticking to it should not be difficult. If you already haven't done so, please consult with your physician before doing this workout. Now, before we get started, it's important that you have plenty of water nearby. So if not, take a minute and go grab some. Don't ever attempt to do any type of workout without enough water to keep you properly hydrated. Okay, before we jump on the twist and shape, we're gonna go through a short stretching routine to loosen up those muscles and joints. This is the key to reducing the risk of injury while doing any type of workout. So let's get started. Reach back, grab your left foot, hold it back, keep your abs nice and tight, hips facing forward, stretch that left quadricep, that's the front of the thigh right there. We're gonna hold it there, breathing naturally. We're gonna work these quadriceps today, so it's really important to get a proper stretch. All right, go ahead and switch legs, reach back, grab the right foot. You can put your arm out for balance if you need a little extra balance. Tighten those abs, that's gonna keep you nice and stable. Stretching out the right quadricep. All right, release that. Take the left foot, step in front. Sit back, reaching your butt back towards the back wall. All of your weight is in the right foot. Reach back, stretching the left hamstring all the way in the back of the thigh back here. Go ahead and lift the toe up for a deeper stretch. You might feel it run down through your calf. And you can lean forward a little more if you need a deeper stretch. Breathing naturally. Go ahead and come up. Same thing, other side. Take your right foot in front. Sit back on that left foot, all the way back in the heel, butt towards the back wall. Take that toe up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch move down to the calf. Feel it a little deeper. We're gonna work those legs today so you wanna get a nice stretch. Come on up. All right, left leg goes all the way back into a large lunge. Nice and wide, scoot that toe all the way back. Make sure that your knee is right over your ankle and that you can wiggle your front toes. Scoot that foot back, you should feel a stretch right here, right in your hip flexor. Go ahead and take the arms up, overhead, and now slightly bend that back leg. You'll feel the stretch move down that upper thigh. Breathing naturally, hold your balance there. Release the arms, come back together, other side. Take the right foot back, slide it back. If you start to feel a lot of a stretch, just stay there, don't push it. We're just stretching at this point. Check your hips, both facing forward. Reach your arms up overhead. Bend that back leg slightly, deepen the stretch. Release the arms, come back standing. Both feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna stretch the upper body now. Go ahead and just take the left arm across the body. Make sure you hold right above the elbow. We don't wanna put any pressure right on the joint there. And we're just stretching out that left shoulder. Nice and easy, pulling it across the body. And release, same thing, other side. Right arm across. Pulling just above the elbow. You should feel a stretch all right in here. Breathing naturally. And release. Now we're just gonna clasp the hands behind the back. Pull the arms up towards the ceiling, opening the chest up. Release. All right, now we're ready to get started. Twisting and shaping our way to a great body. Let's do it. 
All right, you wanna start with a good position on the twist and shape. So your feet should be parallel, hip width apart, toes pointing forward, very important. As far as the position of this, it should be nice and easy with your arms slightly bent. It shouldn't be too low and difficult so that you have to hunch over. You shouldn't be reaching up, so it should be a nice, comfortable position. We're gonna start with the stand up and twist. So we're just gonna simply twist side to side. Feet remain exactly where they are. Don't lift the heels. Slight bend in the knee. And we're just twisting side to side. We're just warming up here, just getting started with the motion. Take this opportunity to get to know your body. Feel all the muscles in your body and how it's working. Make sure you go through the full range of motion as you twist from side to side. We're gonna keep doing this for one full minute. Nice and easy, feeling your obliques and your abs, keeping them nice and tight. Notice where your shoulders are. Relax your shoulders. Keep them away from your ears. Don't hunch up. Chest is pointed out, right out in front of you. Don't hunch. Engage those abdominals. Starting to warm up the body. You're doing great. You're here, you're working out. The next exercise is going to be a twist and squat. All that is, is just bending knees a little bit more so we start to engage the quadriceps. Now we're just gonna have to sit down, keep twisting side to side, nice and easy, just as you were. Keep those abs engaged. But now you should start to feel warm in the legs. Sit back so the weight is in the heels of your feet. You should be able to wiggle those toes. We don't want any pressure in the knee joints. Take a moment to look down as you twist and see if you can see your toes. Very important. We don't wanna push the knees past the toes and put additional stress on the knee joints. Keep twisting, keep twisting. You have 10 seconds to go. Doing good, you should be getting nice and warm. We're gonna transition this to a spin and twist. So for this, we're gonna go up on the balls of our feet, right on these spin plates up here. And we're just gonna twist. Notice that you're spinning on the spin plates, you're standing up nice and tall, and you're just gliding like a dancer. You should start to feel a little warmth in your calf muscle with this exercise. But don't forget to keep your abs engaged, your butt engaged, your thighs engaged. Everything is working as you glide effortlessly back and forth. Keep that chest up, keep the abs engaged. You're doing awesome. You're doing it, you're working out. Keep going, don't give up, keep breathing. This is the warm up phase, but if at any time you feel like it's too much, feel free to take a break. Be sure to listen to your body. We have 10 seconds left of this. Go through the full range of motion. Now we're gonna sit this back, just bend those knees. Same position with the feet, still twisting. Great job. Gliding, now feel that burn in the legs. Everything is warming up. Your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your inner and outer thighs, your glutes, your calves, your abs, we are working your entire body. Keep going, you're doing awesome. There you go, a few more. Stay engaged, stay aware. Keep going, you're doing it. You're going, you're working out. Breathe naturally, don't forget to breathe, very important. Now you'll notice that Chanel is a little bit less seated. She's doing the modified version. So if you feel like it's too much to sit all the way back, just sit slightly back. All right, we're wrapping up and we're moving on. We're gonna do a twist and dip. Feet can become parallel again with the heels down and we're gonna twist and squat, come up in the center and do it on the other side. This is the twist and dip. Nice and easy. Twisting and dipping. 